Is that really your hand? Seven of diamonds. Put your other hand on top. Watch this. Got it. I have the seven of diamonds. What do you have? <laughs> here tonight are supporters of Red Lafayette, but if you if you haven't been to one of these projects of Red Lafayette, you must go check it out for yourself. It's unbelievable. They take these polytrubus and you almost make them into, you would you, never be able to tell. And as people define themselves as ma'amin or as low ma'amin, do you believe or you don't believe? Has it nothing to do with, with mitzvahs, with shabbat, ma'amin or no ma'amin? 86% from the population of Israel define themselves as Ma'aminim. Chaveim, they are there. They are waiting, but I don't have to convince anybody. We had Avi Bishop to talk about Amman and Nazim. Hundreds of places all over the country. In Bnei Brak, there are 760 Abrahim who are going out every week. To tens and tens of places, the same in Jerusalem, Tzfa, Rehobot, Nekivot, Ofakim, Kirat Sefer, every center where there is an office of Leib Lachim, we are talking about thousands of Abrechim, they come, there are people there putting Yarmulke for the Shio, when they go out to the Shio, they take off the Yarmulke, they come with earrings, his wife is keeping Taras of Ishvora, she won't cover her head, not yet. But she keeps class as we call it. And they make a Kiddish. And the most important thing, they send the, the children to Torah schools. Where she wrote Albanim, my home was saved by my elder son, today is already a grandfather, Baal Hashem. He was 10 years old then, 40 years ago. And my wife wanted to divorce me. She couldn't even hear. What are you talking about? This boy looked at me, I was not, not having a tool, I was not having it home, but in fear and encouragement, Abba, Maze, Maze, Maze. And then after two, three weeks, he said, Abba, come on, you I want to go to this place. I looked at my wife, she didn't say a word. I sent him to the only Tarotary in Tel Aviv, near Gan Meir, to go talking about tens and tens and tens of of Tabulitary in Tel Aviv, in Batyam, in Chulon, in all over the country. There was only one. This boy saved our home. After three weeks, my wife said, okay, I'll keep Taz and Mishpoch. She said, what happened? She said, she was translating psychology books from English to Hebrew, and she, she knew something about psychology, and she said to me, no power in the world can do this change in the character of our son, the flying fish. No power in the world. After two weeks, it was a different child. A different child. I will never forget the minute he stood up before, because of me. He was just sitting in the kitchen with a huge house, three stores, going over the Mediterranean in Jaffa. I was walking into the kitchen, it was a huge kitchen. He was sitting with his back to my to, my, to me. And then I went into the kitchen, he stood up. I got out of the kitchen, stands up. And again, he said, my Abba, I stand up in front of you. I was crying, first time in my life, my child stood up before me. He honored me. This was, my wife saw it. And this child changed the home. She kept us in she kept Shabbos. And today I will go, come at half the degree that she is today at Salikis. The children are changing the homes. They are changing the face of Eretz Israel. 
Veshiv Lev Avot Al Banim. This is exactly what happens. No exaggeration even in one sentence or one word. Thousands and thousands of our brothers are waiting there in the cold outside. The only ones that can do it are we, all us together, to bring them under the dwelling, the wings of the Kodesh Bohu, the dwelling of the Kodesh Bohu. And this is the Geulem. When you skip Beza Hashem, so do your maximum effort that you can. We don't get one penny for it. And today also do it happily.
Danny Maimon became a chassan. He's the middle person over here. Rabbi Isai, this is Leib La'achim. This is the Mesiris Nefesh of Leib La'achim. This is what comes from Mesiris Nefesh. Be'asiso Pesach La'ashem Aleikecha. Leib La'achim has a budget of $10 million a year. But they have 27,000 new new customers, if you will. They have 27,000 mid-carbon a year from the different programs. Their retention rate is 50%. That means on average a year, 13,000 people are miscarried to Yiddishkeit in a substantial oifin. In an oifin that will have a kiyum. They're miscarried to Yiddishkeit in a permanent manner. 10 million divided by 13,000, Rabbi says, less than $1,000. Less than a bottle of whiskey. Rabbi Sai, for $700, $800, you can be cleaner than Nefesh. Very simple words, write the way you normally write. Write the word cat, C-A-T. Okay, you don't normally write that big. Write, write the way you normally do, do dog, D-O-G. Excellent, pneumonia, I can't spell that. Do house, H-O-U-S-E. This gives me a feeling of how he shapes his letters when he writes. This time, do not move your hand, keep your hand still. When I say go, in your mind, picture your hand like in a dream, signing a contract or the bottom of a check, the way you would do your signature, but don't move your hand. In your imagination, when you get to the end, out loud, say done. So I'll say go, you picture your hand doing your signature, and when you get to the last letter, say done. Does that make sense? Are you ready? Go. I'm done. Do it again, please. Go. I'm done. Take the cap off the pen. I want you to do your signature in the bottom section of the board. But do it so you can do it in one line going across. Do it big, but not too big. Does that look like the way you saw it in your mind? Yeah. Okay, good. Put the cap back on the pen. And then place the pen on my hand. And you are free to get away from me. This is part when we close the show. You're clapping because he gets away from me? Thank you. I am going to try to recreate for you what he did in his imagination, but turn it upside down and backwards. Meaning, I'm going to start from the bottom of the last letter, work my way up to the top of the first letter, trying to capture the shapes he would use to form his signature. We get the shape? What the? Yes? No? Yeah? yeah. Okay, if it's close enough, would you please concentrate on your mother's maiden name and your social security number? Okay, no, no, not really. When I first started doing this, I would have the person help me put everything on, he'll take everything off. But I have one lady who's just like a band-aid. When it came time to remove them, just ripped them all off at one time. <laughs> 